100 Radio, man. You know, when we pull up, we do our thing, man. We out here to shoot your shot film festival. It is going down, man. We are talking to the actors, the producers, the directors, the people who came out here just to watch the movies, everything, man. So, my guy right here, man, we I'm trying to like halfway watch his movie, who's it just actually on the screens uh, up here behind us. And he's actually the star of the film, man. First of all, I want you to introduce yourself to our people on this camera right here, bro. Uh, hello, how you doing? My name is Jamez Alexander. Jamez Alexander, welcome, man. He said his, his acting name, too. You know what I'm saying? Where you from, bro? From New Orleans. New Orleans? All right, so tell me this movie that you're in that's being screened right here at the Shoot Your Shot Film Festival. Tell us about that. Oh, Pseudo. Pseudo is about uh, a young attorney, Malcolm Terrell, okay. who has uh, been diagnosed with a schizoaffective disorder okay. uh, from a traumatic death of his mother. Right. And as he's recovering from this, he finds a love interest online. Right. And he's kind of new to this territory. And he meets this girl named Maya, mm -hmm. falls deeply in love, but then... Uh, Tragedy befalls. Oh, yeah, I get, yeah, I was gonna say. Right. <laughs> uh, I can't cuss right. You can't. Can, no, you can't. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, shit hits the fan. Man. Shit hits the fan. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. it's it's so it, it, it's a drama. It's more of a pseudo kind of you know uh, psychological thriller, exactly. right? That would be the genre of it, right? Exactly. Okay. So first of all, how, how did you how did you land the role, bro? Like, how, you know, how, how did you um get put onto the to the to the movie, and how did you land the role? Um, I had worked with uh, Signa Square Media in Tawania Grandin. Okay. Uh, entertainment before a right. shorter film called Shiva, and they brought me in to audition for this. Uh, I read a few times. I got to meet Brianna, who was the writer, and she plays Maya in the film. Okay. And we did a screen test, and they decided to sign me up. All right. So how long you been acting? Oh, about ten years. Ten years. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the, you know they say the ten year mark is where it starts to. Hit overdrive and it pops yeah, off, right? Bit. Like that's what they say. You know, the ten, the ten years, ten thousand hours, whichever one comes first, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man. How about, how are you feeling about your career right now as an actor, man? Like 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 you you feeling like it's it's definitely going in the right direction. This movie's I'm telling you guys right now, I haven't I haven't watched Pseudo because I was like watching it, but then of course I'm here to work. <laughs> I'm actually here to do a job today, so I can't just 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 you know just throw away my duties as, as media here. I'm trying to watch the movie, but it was it was actually good. I'm on the scenes where you um me and um uh, another guy that has a movie. We was watching it, and then you know after she kind of stood you up at you know the scene when she stands you up at pop house. I'm like, dang, maybe she didn't really love him. And then you see the the the, the, the post saying, oh, you know, saying she she, she might have gotten into a bad car accident. I'm like, whoa, let's get. Then I, I walk out. I'm telling you, I was talking to you. I came back in. All of a sudden, you in jail. Now somebody's got a gun on you. Yeah, it's a man. lot going on, fam. Yeah, like, it's, a lot. it's a lot going on in the movie. So, you know, um, what drew you to the role? Like, what made you want to play it? It was the writing. Yeah? It was the writing. Like, um, even with the sides I auditioned with, they were so contrary that I had to think about it. Like, okay, who is this character? Mm -hmm. And what is he ultimately dealing with? And then when I got to speak with Brianna and we got to cover the topic of mental health, right. I was all in. Right. Because that's something that's not talked about in our community. Yeah. And I want like yeah. to be on the forefront uh, to represent that because yeah. we deal with everything. You get to see me, uh, Malcolm, you get to see him visit his therapist. Right. You get to see how his uh, meds affect him. Yeah, how his family talks to him, his family how friends. How his family treats him yeah. and how professionally he affects his life. Yeah. And so I just like that, but it has a through line of twist and turns yeah. that keeps you, even if you're not focused on the mental health aspect of it, you're still engaged in the story. Right. And in the movie. Right. So, yeah, so, 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 so you got the 10,000 hours in. Where, where, where you feel like you at right now as an actor? Blessed. Blessed? Blessed, yeah. I'm still working. Yeah. You know, so I've gotten to that point where I'm just like, as long as I'm working, I'm happy. I'm right, right. For, for, for my family, for my household. Yeah. This has really been all that I do. Absolutely. So. I'm, I'm a lucky man. I'm on stage at the Alliance next month. If you're in Atlanta, okay. Doing what? Uh, Ruben Noob. Okay. Ruben Noob. It's a play in the Rich Theater. Right. So, it's so let me ask you this, because yeah. someone brought okay, so someone brought up a point earlier that I, you guys watch all these videos, they, uh, all these interviews. They're pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. About about thespians, right? Thespians, about yeah. about you know, <laughs> no, because it was. It, the conversation was about like how how people feel like they can just jump into the film industry kind of sort of like music you know um which i don't I, i'm like well you, you can't just make a movie nobody just wakes up right. and rolls over and make a movie but you can roll over and, and make, write a rap you only gotta have talent you know what i'm saying but you gotta have some you gotta have some talent to be able to create a, a full film yeah as, as 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 someone who's doing stage right mm -hmm. which is why i just found out you know that's that's real that's acting that's another level of acting how, how important for you is like that part of of acting like being a necessary a, a thespian or you know somebody that has to ha that that can do stage or whatever or just somebody who kind of just you know they only do 
you know, film. They only do video. They don't. They don't do theater. But are they actors too? Yeah. You know, they are they. You know, are they serious actors? Because people are like, if you can't do that, you're not a actor. No, you know? it's, it's not even like that. Uh, I look at it. They're they're team sports. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's one thing. It's, right. It's a team sport from film to theater. Right. You know, and how you rely on your team is different on both. Like film, it's more so dang near like basketball you know what i mean it's like you're constantly passing the ball and everybody has to play their position the right editor has to play their position the light has to play their position and or i should say more so like football yeah because you have offense you have defense you have, right. like you can make a film like even with this film i didn't see some of the people that worked on it right you know but we were all working together right theater they're right from the ground up right <laughs> <laughs> and everything is happening up. in real time so yeah. it's like yeah, yeah. you but know you can't fault michael jordan for not wanting to play football yeah. You know? Like, right, so, right. Yeah, I will never say that you're not a true actor because you don't do theater. I just okay. say you're different. Different. Okay. You're in a, All right. you're in a different sport. All right. Well, I, I, it's interesting, but, but, but you, you know, you someone that, that does both, that, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So, film festivals. This is the first one. This is the very first Shoot Your Shot Film Festival. My guy put it together. It's a lot to it. You know, we definitely don't have a lot of these for uh, our films as, 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 as black people and stuff. So yeah. I, I just want to, first of all, you know, commend the fact that he even wanted to do it because it's not a lot of people even doing it. And, you know, it's something that has to build up and get to it. But let's talk about, you know, the, the networking and business side of acting. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the part that... It's just like rappers. It's like, oh, everybody wants to get on stage and hit the studio, but nobody wants to talk about publishing. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right. you know, and all this other stuff. Like, 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 can you talk a little bit about you know the grind of like coming to film festivals and having to do this part of you know helping yeah. helping project that you're on get noticed, and you have to come out here and do this 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 stuff too. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely it's a it's a it's a faith in work. Yeah. You know, especially in acting in arts. Period. Yeah. You have the ultimate faith to push forward. But then you have to have the works, which is right. getting out there and doing it when you feel like it and when you don't. <laughs> you know, that, and that's yeah. where that love comes in. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you have to love what you're doing, love the project that you're creating. And, right. And, and bang your flag, yeah. so to speak. You know? Right. So, and that's really important because you never know who you're going to meet. Exactly. You never know who's going to be at. Even if it's the first time film festival, you never know who walks in there, what next director you may meet, what next you know to producer you may meet at this particular event. Because one thing about these kind of events, people who are here are here for a reason. A reason. Right. You know, right. you don't get random people coming to a film festival. You just right. don't. Like they're they they're involved in something that makes some sort of relevancy to what you do. You know what I'm saying? At some point. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we might be the only. Uh, uh, square pegs in these round holes out here before we you know but not even I mean media was still media was still needed you know what yeah. I'm saying but at the end of the day so I don't want to hold up too much of your time man um, I want to make sure that if people want to check out any more of your work and they can find you on social media so please uh, give everybody where they can connect with you follow you on your IG so find your new movies and all that stuff yeah yeah you can follow me on IG uh, Jamez Alexander that's spelled J-I-M-E-Z Alexander mm -hmm. uh, follow me on social media um, let's see what's it Instagram Facebook mm -hmm. uh, you can also follow me on IMDB you know check out any films and uh, and look out because uh, I, I just want to tag on something you said go ahead. Well, I was going to finish the plug with a bang but I really just no no go ahead tag go ahead. on something you say because it's it's also not just knowing who you're going to meet mm -hmm. but know that you're meeting somebody yeah because everybody's at a different point in their journey you know because you don't know where I'm going to be in 10 years. exactly you know but meet me now right where i'm at right i think that's something that we see that doesn't work right is when we only want to affiliate with somebody who's going to move me to fame right but really it's your next project yeah it's it's where do you want to grow as an artist so i say support these film festivals for growth right because it helps you grow when you meet other growing artists absolutely and we're all about the art and not necessarily using each other for our own selfish game let me let me just say this to you bro and i, I don't and people who know me know i don't i don't i don't bs people mm -hmm. i think i from what i've seen like you're an actor like you're acting like you know some people now i'm just yeah some people you fucking people don't <laughs> take this the wrong way you know what i'm saying and be like oh nobody else is. no i'm not saying that there's a lot of talented people here but some of the films you know it's kind of looking like you know are they trained actors are they i don't want to say test me because that was a whole conversation but i'm just saying like they don't feel like they are acting per se like you know they just kind of being themselves for the mm. most part and they just kind of doing the role you know what i mean but no you actually have you know scenes emotional scenes and you know it's, it's really good i think you're good so when so i, I said that because I wouldn't be surprised to see you on those big stages and big screens in 10 years. Yeah. I'd be like, you know what? I remember when I 
when I saw that one movie and then I interviewed him, I was like, you know what? He got it. You know what I'm saying? I, if I if I saw you ten years from now, five years from now, on a on a big stage, whatever, I'd be like, you know what? That's not shocking because I, I actually watched the movie. You know what I'm saying? That he was in, you know, when he was <laughs> when it wasn't that big and uh, it's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just want to give you some kudos on that, boy. Oh, thank you. The the movie, pseudo, you guys check that out, man. It's actually a really good movie. I, I am really trying to slick watch it as we doing this interview yeah, <laughs> you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah. <laughs> but um anything else you want to leave them with bro um it's uh pseudo streaming on tubi mm -hmm. also so you just go to tubi type in pseudo you type in my name it'll come right up uh shout out dame dash studios for taking this on and uh and oh really yeah, yeah didn't know that see yeah <laughs> i was i didn't get a chance to watch the credits yet you know what I'm saying? i don't know uh, what's going on you know what i'm saying yeah, so yeah and uh shout out brianna cole and uh and tawania grandin and her, and her husband um yeah, Herschel, Herschel Grandin. Okay. Uh, thank you to the whole team and everybody that did this. Absolutely, thank man. Thank you for having us. For sure, man. Absolutely, man. This is what we're here for, man. K100 Radio, man. We are live, man. Go check out that movie, Pseudo Man. And this guy in it, he's doing his thing. You feel me? Hit that subscribe button and find out more about the Shoot Your Shot Film Festival. Because this is the first one, but it won't be the last. Hit subscribe. K100 Radio.